Born and raised in Wenatchee Valley. I loved playing sports, so as a kid, that's all I ever did. I never was raised in any type of religion. Uh, folks never went to church, grandparents never went to church. So from you know childhood to adult, I never once looked at church as something that I was interested in. Right out of high school, I got my EMT. Uh, that's how I met Sean Kelly. Sean and I worked together in the ambulance services for uh, about a year together. And then from that point forward, I, Sean and I were just good buddies. Sean said, hey man, I don't know what's going on in life, but if you ever need anything, let me know. The devastating reality of sin in me, um, I broke a lot of hearts and I hurt a lot of people. I was living a sinful life that was revolved around all of my idols. I was hopeless, uh, I was anxious, I overanalyzed everything. It was a, I was just a mess. I was going through counseling, I was going through any type of professional help and it wasn't helping me. Uh, so I made that choice where um, I knew that I was at the bottom of the barrel. I had no other way to get out. And I reached out to Sean Kelly. I was like, hey man, I'm lost, I'm broken. I know you're not a counselor or a therapist, but I know that I can rely on you. Went over a few uh, Bible verses and he gave me a Bible to read and said, if you need me, let me know. Let's walk with Jesus together, I'll show you the way. And at that point, I knew that I needed that because everything else under the sun wasn't working for me and I couldn't get out of my own way. July 25th is a day that I'll forever remember. Uh, I came into church for the first time. I uh, listened to Pastor Josh talk in regards to the Kingdom Come series. Um, that was the first day that I was sober uh, from alcohol and I've been sober today since. Uh, I was alone prior to uh, meeting Jesus. I was lost and the anxiety that I had was all derived from not knowing Jesus. And now that I've got Jesus in my life, I, I wake up every morning more thankful than I could ever imagine being and I have everything to look forward to in my day. And from there, moving forward, I do everything I can to glorify God in my actions, my words, and my behaviors. And um, knowing that, I am at peace, and I would have never have been that in any type of uh, pre-Jesus Seth or self. My goal is to make the next 40 years right of my life because you know, I've lived half my life in my, in my mindset and I have so much to give in those 40 years and hopefully bring people to meet, love, and follow Jesus. I'm beyond blessed for the people that I've had in my life that have guided me towards Jesus. I'm surrounded by godly dudes. Like, it's the best opportunity for me to be spurred on to be a better man, a stronger man, and uh, just be guided in the right direction.